Let me tell you, if you want your company or organization to be okay, hire men. If you want your company to be good, hire at least 14 or 50% of the women. If you want your company to be perfect, you should make men and women working together. This is three ways. I found a lot of uh, companies have a lot of men, their company okay. You know, there is nothing that is good. But a lot of company good, they must have a lot of women inside. If the company is perfect, women and men work harmoniously. For my company, I would say that uh, one thing proved sure. We are entering a world with great experience. Customers need great experience. Women has the best care heart than men. Women care for their husband, parents, and children. We see a lot of women go shopping. <clears throat> women go shopping a lot, but they go shopping not only buy for themselves, they buy for husband, and parents, and the kids. This, we are entering into the world. It's not a competition of muscle, it's competition of wisdom. It's competition of, of careness. <clears throat> and I'm a strong belief that in the 21st century, if we have more women leaders, this world will be much peaceful and wonderful. If we have more presidents for women, <laughs> right? If we have a Secretary General of the United Nations and women, the world will be better. <laughs> this is true. Because women, they care. Men, well, I don't say men don't care. Normally, men care about themselves more than women care for the others. This is, I have done a lot of statistics, both online and offline. So, I think if you want your company to be user-friendly, customer love you, with great chemistry in your company, please put that effect inside. This is the magic ingredient of your company. My company will never treat he, he or she. We just treat if she or he are capable. And young people are the future. Young people are our hope. A lot of people are say are hopeless. Your company hopeless because your company don't have young people. If your company have a lot of young people, young people have a lot of great ideas. When you have great ideas, you are always full of hope for the future. So my company today, average age is, 20, uh, is 33 years old. We're getting old, but we encouraging every year we should have more young people to bring us different ideas. Young people have problems. Tell me, who has no problems in this world? Older people have the problems even much more difficult. They're much stubborn than with their young people. Young people embrace the change. <clears throat> See, we are entering at the internet period. Secretary General said 1.8 billion people in this world, they are young people. And today in this world, more than 1.5 billion people are using internet. They breathe. They read, they eat, they sleep with the internet. And they are the reformer of tomorrow. They, at least, they are trying for the future. <clears throat> at least, they can hear the future. They feel the future. We don't. So, a lot of people try to see the future by their experience. Let me tell you, you may have experience of life, but you don't have the experience for the technology that is changed so rapidly, and young people have. So please hire enough young people to make your company full of hope. Please hire enough young people to make your company don't worry about the future. Uh, please hire enough women to make your company to be perfect. This is 
<coughs> this is there's no other ways that you can do it. And I have seen this, I proved this, and I'm telling most of my partners, colleagues, this is the way. And you like it or you don't like it. Young people will be the leader of our country, of our world. You see so many young leaders today in Europe. Used to be old guys, now young people. You see so many women leaders coming. It will come in more, no matter you like it or don't like it. And get ready to welcome them and embrace them. That's what I say.